Ooh, these keys is hot. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. It's time for another Tablet Tuesday, and today I'm going to be showing you all the hotkeys that you can use in the Power Director Mobile Android app. If you've been wondering what the hotkeys were for Power Director Mobile, I want you to put hashtag I need some hotkeys in the comment section below. All right, Power Director peeps, I kept you waiting long enough. Let's jump off into the app and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director Mobile. I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Tablet Tuesday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every single time I upload content to YouTube. Let's make these keys hot. Power Director Mobile supports the use of keyboard hotkeys when using the app on a Chromebook or a mobile device that's connected via a Bluetooth keyboard. Now, if you don't have a keyboard like that, or you don't have a Chromebook, this might not be the tutorial for you, but if you do, great. And if you wanna learn about how to use keyboard hotkeys and you're thinking about getting the keyboard or a Chromebook app, keep on watching as well. So hotkeys are basically a combination of keys that you press to make shortcuts. Different things happen quicker when you're editing. So let's go ahead and get it cracking and show you how to use these hotkeys. So the first hotkey I want to show you is how to start a new project. So if you're here on the project page and you hold down the control key on your keyboard and then you hold down the end button and let go, it'll pop up a new window for you to start a new project. So you can type in the name of the project that you want and tap on OK. And it'll open up that new project. Now, of course, you want to go ahead and throw some stuff on your timeline. So I'm going to go here and go to videos. I'm going to double tap on that, add that to my timeline. And I'm going to go back to the editing interface. Now, if you put something on your timeline, and you're like, hey, I want to get rid of that. You could go ahead and hit control and the backspace button, and it will delete any object that you add to your timeline. Also, if you want to bring things back, you want to undo something that you changed, you can hit control and Z, and it'll undo that change that you made. Now let's say you want to play something in your timeline. You can tap on something in your timeline and hit the space bar on your keyboard. And then if you want to pause it, you just go ahead and you hit the space bar again. And it'll pause it right there. Now let's say you want to split a clip. You can tap on the clip on your timeline and you can hit control T and it'll split that clip right there. Once again, if you want to undo it, you can hit control Z and it'll undo that change. Now, let's say you want to go to the media room and get you some new media. You know, you want to get there quick from this page. So all you got to do is hit control three and it'll take you right to the media page. So let's go ahead and go back. And let's say I wanted to go to the effect room. I can hit control four. It'll take me to the effects room. I'm going to go back again and let's say I wanted to go to the overlay menu. I can hit control five. Takes me right there. I'm going to go back and let's say I want to do some audio mixing. Mix it up, baby. I can hit control zero and it'll open up the audio mixer for me. So I can go ahead and hit cancel on that. And let's say I want to go to settings and change up some things in my settings. Then I can hit alt C and it will go ahead and open up the settings menu. So I can make changes here. So I'm gonna go back. And then if I wanna show any tips and tricks and things like that, I can do control one. And it'll bring up the tips and give me all types of information on little things that you can do on the keyboard and explain all the buttons and things like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy all right power director peeps i want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end it truly means the world to me if you have a tutorial that you'd like me to make head over to the video description and complete my tutorial request form 
If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, if you want more tips, tricks, training, and education on how to use Power Director, then you got to watch more of my content. And you got to subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.